You're the break after the bend How much farther will we fall? And I'll wait for us to land Still suspended, it's still dark When I looked over my plans This wasn't there, yeah, here we are You're the break after the bend How much farther will we fall? How much farther can we Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kima. I am at Walmart right now. I have to get a couple of things for my upcoming surgery. Um, I need to get protein drinks. I need to get um, it's similar things that I need that I had got from my tummy tuck. It's not a lot of things that I have to get. Like my compression socks. I cannot find them for some reason, so I have to buy a new pair of compression socks. But most of the stuff that I already have from my previous surgery, I can still use. I need to re-up on my vitamin supplements. And these are the supplements that I had last year i only got a couple left i'm supposed to take three of those vitamins per day so i gotta get that but in the meantime i'm gonna ask eric to send me the list because i left the list home so hopefully he answers let's see yes can you go that's very very harsh <laughs> Because you just left the house. Yeah, that means I forgot something. Um, Can you go in the room and look by the bed and look at that list? Send a picture to me. What list? The stuff I'm supposed to get from Walmart for my surgery. Ain't nothing over here but a book. Your laptop is in the corner. It's a notebook in the room. Oh, there's a notebook that's under the laptop with the pineapples and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, oh yeah, pineapples. Yeah, can you send me that list? Just take a picture and send it yeah. to my phone. All right. All right, thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so I forgot about that. I'm gonna need pineapples, pineapple tea, arnica tea, arnica gel. I also have the scar sheets. Um, what else I need? He's about to send it to me, so I can read it to y'all as soon as it comes through. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Then after that, I'm gonna get me something to eat. So today is just for me to get last minute things. I don't watch thousands and thousands of videos, so I kind of already got an idea. Plus, I don't want to jinx it, but I don't feel like it's gonna be as intense as it was when I got my tummy tuck in a light bulb and my stomach muscles repaired because Woo. Well, between the stomach muscles repair, the lipo was the worst part because it just shocks you every now and again. But I haven't got any lipo pains in a while, so I'm kind of happy about that. Okay, so he just sent it. I need to get compression socks, protein drinks, zipper bras, so bras that zip from the front, um, crackers, chicken noodle soup, a Medi planner for pills, chapstick. <laughs> Y'all, being that you can't moisturize and stuff like that before surgery is crazy to me. But um, I need to keep chapstick on me because since I vlog, me talking, 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 like my lips get chapped a lot. So I need, I usually have like this lip gloss, but sometimes it leaves that little residue around your mouth from the um stickiness. So I'd rather just get chapstick. So that was a whole little rant. I don't know why I just have to say all of that. But anyway, chapstick is important. Um, heating pad for my back. I heard by you sitting up, you can't lay flat down because your boobs have to like kind of like fall into place properly. It's supposed to help with your back from sitting propped up. Your back kind of hurt after a while. It makes sense because me sitting in a recliner after a while, my back was kind of feeling. I kept saying my back was feeling some type of way, but I just thought it was from the light bulb. But it could have just been from the strain of me sitting up all the time. I think I'm gonna have to sleep that way too. So, um, fiber bars. I put fiber bras. <laughs> for constipation and vaseline for like the ashiness and stuff i can't think of anything else like i said i have other stuff that's already in the house that i don't need this is just what i need right now so i will update y'all on everything else probably later on because that's gonna conclude this later Hey y'all, so it's the next day and I'm here at um, Los Rodriguez Nail Lounge. So I'm here because I was told by my surgeon that I have to get all my nails off just in case they can't find a post on my finger when they put the little um, oximeter on it. So I have to say goodbye to my nails. I just got these done too. So I was like, could I just take off like my index finger or one? Because my sister's getting it done too and she only had to take off one, but they told me no. So I'm about to go in here and try to get these taken off and I'll speak to y'all when I'm done. Hey 
But yeah, I just wanted to get on here and show y'all all the stuff that I got from Walmart and preparing for my surgery. So these are my medications. One is for nausea, one is for anxiety, one is for constipation, two of them are for pain medication, and I believe, let me see, what was the other one for? I forget what the other two was for. I have to take two of them with food. I got me some Vital Boom water with zinc in it because I heard zinc is supposed to be good. And I also got these elderberry immunity shots with zinc and probiotics. Some breakfast essentials that have 10 grams of protein, 21 vitamin minerals, three times vitamin D versus milk, and two times calcium versus Greek yogurt. So I got this just in case I'm not able to get up and make me nothing in the morning. I could just drink one of these. And then another case of protein shakes, French vanilla. Also got this protein tropical shake that I'm gonna bring with me the day of. Got some chicken noodle soup, some stir fry with noodle and rice. Another one. Got me chunks of pineapple, two of those. I got me some throat soother tea because they're going to put a breathing device down my throat and I'm going to have that raspy next to my throat. So hopefully this does soothe my throat. And then I have this Alka-Seltzer Plus cough and cold just to have in the house. I bought some pink salmon, just something to make a quick salad. And then I bought these menthol pain relieving patches because I heard your back hurt from sitting in that position. And I also bought another one that does not have any scent to it. It's odor free. Also bought some multivitamins because I ran out of my other ones. And then I bought some spring water antibacterial soap. So I have the actual wash in the room that I've been using the past three days. This is just for after my surgery. I'm still gonna be using antibacterial soap. Then I bought me some lip balm because my lips, they be chapped. And they was chapped last time when I had my surgery. So I wanna make sure I have that. I got some disinfectant wipes. I got a heating pad. It goes hand in hand with this just to relieve some of that back pain. I got me a weekly pill planner and for one of the medications, they told me to cut it in half when I first try it because it's kind of strong. So I'm gonna do that. I got the pill cutter. I got me some compression socks. I'm gonna wear these ones to surgery and these are just other ones to have on hand. Supportive compressions help relieve swelling and tire achy legs. And then I got a load of bras that connect in the front. So these are all the bras that I got. They all zip from the front or attach from the front. And then this pajama set that buttons in the front so I don't have to put nothing over my head because they say you don't want to have to put nothing over your head. Oh, and I also have a neck pillow. This is my neck pillow. So I did also order a um, cushion strap for my seatbelt so it won't hurt when I put on my seatbelt. But this pretty much sums up everything I got for my breast augmentation. So just wanted to show y'all that. And he's trying to drink my stuff. No, I'm trying to. That's mine. But we have that for our morning. I used to get you the strawberry one, but I got this one for me. Hey y'all, so it's the morning of surgery. I'm super dry. I just got out the shower. I just washed my hair and I just used this antiseptic soap. So I can't put on any moisturizer or anything like that. I'm about to get dressed. I picked out some sweats and a zip up sweater because I'm not gonna be able to pull nothing over my head. And they did say dress comfortable, something with elastic, so a drawstring. So I just wanted to let y'all know that I already dropped off the boys. I wanna go ahead and wash one of the bras before I put it on. And I don't have my nails on. I'm just not used to not having my nails on, so. So this is where I'm going to get my surgery done. And they also gave me a book to prepare myself. And I read the book, it's a good book. Making the cut, that's what it's called. Before having plastic surgery, 10 things you should consider. And my doctor is James Nogen. So I just thought y'all should know that. I think I'm gonna bring this with me. I'ma quickly get dressed and I'll probably show y'all my sweatsuit, nothing major, but yeah, today's the day. And I am nervous. But I'm also Hungry. I'm used to eating in the morning and I can't so I will check back with y'all later But right now I'm just gonna be blow drying my hair and get myself ready like get myself dressed cuz I have to go Everyone's gonna drop me off. I'll check back with y'all later I'm 
just waiting for my bra to finish drying. It's in the dryer right now. I'm gonna put that on, then I'm gonna put up my zip up sweater on, and then that's my outfit for today. And I got on sweats and my Crocs. Oh, and my compression socks. These are the most comfortable compression socks. It's not like the itchy compression socks, like the stocking material. They, these feel so soft. I think I showed it to y'all. I'm a little upset because my surgery is at 12.45 and they told me I can't eat nothing. So I still haven't eaten or drinking anything since nine o'clock last night and it is 10 o'clock in the morning and I still have to wait. And y'all know they're gonna have to still prep me by the time I get there. <sighs> they didn't give me a time. They never said what time the surgery is gonna start. They just said be there at 12.45. First they said 12 o'clock and then I just got an email saying to be there at 12.45. So I'm like, um, could I eat some ice chips? And it was like, oh no, you can't do that, but you can swish in your mouth if your mouth feels dry. Cause my mouth feels very dry and I feel like kind of dehydrated because I'm used to drinking in the morning or having some type of fluid in my system in the morning, but. It's for health reasons. The reason that they tell you not to eat or drink prior to getting surgery is because while you're getting general anesthesia, they don't want like any fluid or any food to fill up in your lungs because it can happen. So being a medical assistant, I kind of know. So they're worrying about my health and I can't be mad at that. I'm just hangry right now, but it's for my own good. Meanwhile, Eric just got finished eating. Let me show y'all. He's sitting there laughing at me. I'm just make sure he bring um, me stuck a granola bar and something to drink, like a protein drink. How do you feel about me getting surgery? In the process? Um, I don't really like the healing process, but you gotta heal. But, uh... You know, something you wanna do, so I ain't gonna stop you from doing what you wanna do. And it comes and, you know, falls in my benefit as well, so. Psych! I'm supposed to say no to that. Well, let's see if you are up to like really taking care of me. That's the, the part where you gotta stop that. The taking care of you part. You close to though. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's drinking and I can't drink. And he had the whole freaking room smelling like an oil can eat buffet. Just make sure you bring me some food when you pick me up. That's what I'm asking you to do. And a protein drink. Cause I am gonna be hungry. I'm already hungry. I mean. <laughs> Just bring me some food, that's it. It's nothing you can say. Just bring me some food. All right. Thank you. I mean, we want me to bring you something or just get you something out there? Well, I have two protein drinks that I want you to bring for me. Yeah, but you don't have to buy me nothing to drink. But yeah, when you get out there, we got to stop and give me something. Like Chick-fil-A or something. Bruh. Ain't no Chick-fil-A out here. They have a Chick-fil-A out no there. Chick -fil it will take me longer than your surgery to get you Chick-fil-A. What's today, Tuesday? Chick-fil-A is always packed. Can't you like order? You can order at certain places and just pick it up like Chipotle. You can just order it. So yeah, that's that situation. I'm about to just wait until my bra dry so I can put it on and then um, I gotta edit this video. And I need to pack some of the boy stuff because he's gonna have to pick him up early from school because we don't know what time the surgery is gonna end. Trey and Kyrie gotta be picked up before six o'clock. So, I'm gonna just have him pick him up early and bring him because we don't have no other option right now. And we got another one over here chowing down. It's not okay that y'all get to eat and I can't. It's not okay. I'm jealous. I'm really jealous. So yeah, I'll check back with y'all later. All right, so I just brought it here to Butology. We're finna uh, go in there and, and get this over with so I can eat. Yeah, that's all she care Hello, about. Hi. Yeah, yeah. You don't need no filters. You my rocket, you my perfect picture. Baby, you know I'm trying to kick it with ya. Ain't got a way to lick it stock. We get 106 and park. You be my rock, I be your big tigger. I'm trying to show you off. I'm trying to flaunt you. I'm obsessed with you, baby, I want you. They don't watch it. Tell them they can tune in. Show them how I.
put all love on a billboard So you just need to look out your window Show the whole city I'm all yours Let me put us on display, yeah I'll shout it from the rooftops, I got I'm about to get dressed and change out into my gown and then they said a bunch of doctors are going to come in and so I'm just going to get undressed and put on my gown and wait for the doctors to come in and you're going to do what you be her errand boy <laughs> To look out your window, show the whole city of my eyes. Let me put us on display. Hey. So I'm in my gown. I don't even think I got it on right. It was weird. Huh? 145.6. I was more than that when I was in New York for my last surgery. Because you eating all the time. Well, since I can't eat today, I'm pretty sure I lost a few pounds from last night. Starving me. So yeah, I'm just waiting for them to come in now. And I'll probably check back with y'all. Well, Eric is going to have the camera later. So he'll check back with y'all and let y'all know when he's ready to come pick me up. And I'll be coming out of surgery. And he says it's not going to be that long, so... It is, what time is it? 12.59. It's 12.59. So we'll see what time um, he checked back in with y'all to come pick me up. All right, so before she starts meeting with her doctors and stuff, she's going to sit here <laughs> and I'm going to run all of her errands and get her food and stuff like that so she can be Full and happy. Full and happy. Yeah. Later, y'all. So I'll be checking back in with y'all. Y'all on the Troop 100 tour today. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, so I just came out of uh, Tarshay. Got her uh, her little body pillows. I actually got two. One for me, one for her. Let me show y'all. But this is what she would do, right? So I got this one here. This one's going to be mine. I can barely see it in the sunlight. Got that one. And it's another one in this basket right here. Got these baskets for the boys. Because every time I get um hampers and stuff for them, she always decides she wants to steal them. She got like 17 uh, baskets and hampers of clothes in the closet. I'm like, bro, bro, you don't need that many clothes. But um, yeah, she got them anyway. So I tried to color coordinate them. You get red, I get, well, I get red, you get blue, she get pink. She took all of them, all of them. So, uh, yeah, I'm sitting out here in the Target parking lot. It's almost 2.30. She said she still ain't been seen by the doctor yet. So I'm probably finna go back in there and uh, talk some shit. Because why not, right? So we'll keep you guys updated later. So you can see there's no volume at the top right here and then after I should have volume at the top I got my mom bun in Eric just left to go get my pillow and my food and stuff they said it should take like two hours I believe so I'm almost there y'all I'm almost there I'm just ready I'm just ready. This gown is so big. But I put all my stuff inside this bag. All my medications are in here. This is a book that they have me look through. And then they have this here. But this is just how the room looks. 
pretty small roll. But yeah, the girl is hungry. I need to eat. Stomach is growling. I'm gonna have some cleavage now at the top. So I'll check back with y'all later. One hour later. So they just transferred me to this new room where it has like uh, the anesthesia. So that little device right here is the reason why I had to take off my nails because they wanted to make sure that I got a good pulse, that they could get a good pulse. But um, if they couldn't, then I'm gonna have to use another one of my fingers. I can't believe I don't have it on me now. I believe this is the measuring device they use to measure your boobs. And that's the medical pen they use to mark me. So that's that. So I'm just waiting for Cassie to come in. That's what they said her name is. I'm gonna check back with y'all later. I feel like I've been waiting for a long time. And I hear her coming, so. Two hours later. fluid since I didn't eat or drink since nine o'clock last night and now I'm just waiting for the surgeon and the other nurse to come in who's going to be in there with me so I'll keep you guys updated so that's the antibiotic that they're going to put in me it's just a preventative so I won't get an infection while they're doing the surgery and just waiting for the surgeon to come in to mark me up some people tell me I should get 450, but I think I'm gonna just go with 400 because they do slow down and they strength a little, so I'm gonna go with 400. I think, depending on what the surgeon says. And my vitals were perfect. And I thought it was so weird because I didn't eat anything. I thought it was gonna be a little off, but it was actually like perfect. And my rate, my pulse rate was 90, so that's good too. So, now your girl's ready. All right, y'all. Well, I just got the call. She's out of surgery, so I'm finna um finna run up there and see where she at. She's supposed to be in the recovery room for about for about ten minutes. So I think that call was about nine minutes ago. Oh, no. Yeah. All right, for sure. Hold on. I'll be right back with y'all in a second. All right. So I just went in there. Uh, they gave me a little debrief and all that. Uh, she was still on the bed under medication and all that type of stuff. They gave me all the information, all her. She showed you all the pills she got to take. So, that's, yeah, she got to take a lot of stuff. So, um, the medical assistant is going to bring her out the side at some point. And then I'll just set the camera up and um, let y'all see her come down. Because she looked terrible. <laughs> Not even going to lie. She was out there. She looked beat up. But, nah. Uh, yeah, so... When she get ready to come back, I'll tap back in with y'all. Should be a few minutes, the nurse gotta get her dressed, so. We'll see what she do, all right? All right, there she is. Let me go get this dough. Thank you. 
Thank you. You too. So as y'all can see, she looks a little defeated. But it should be in your bag. You want to say hello to the established squad? Nope. I'm hungry. You're not hungry? I am hungry. They say you can't eat nothing like real heavy or greasy. Um, but it can't be real greasy. Chipotle is not really greasy. Yeah, but you don't want too much either. I just need something like fries. Fries? <laughs> I got you a protein drink. I can eat a burger. Burgers are greasy. All right, so a chicken sandwich. They got um, Chick Fil A's over there. Not Chick Fil A, fucking. Uh, what I just have? Panda Express. Mm -mm. But all that food is greasy. Just give me a chicken sandwich. Here, drink some of this. Oh, let me open it. I got two of them. I got a mango one and I got a strawberry banana. They don't even look like they don't look. Did you see it? No. Like, I still feel drowsy. We have enough time to go get the boy. Uh, kind of. Right, so just this chicken sandwich and everything. Mm -hmm. That look good when they heal. And you say you didn't want them too big. Mm-mm, I didn't want them too big. Which one of these you want? Mango or strawberry banana? Strawberry banana. They use the bathroom. You do? Mm -hmm. Oh God! They got to let you back in there. <sighs> have to be. Okay. Well. Alright y'all, so we out of the surgery room and all that, so now she hungry, of course, right? And she wants a chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go get her a chicken sandwich. I will go to Chick-fil-A because that's kind of what I want, but them lines be long and win on that kind of time of day. So, uh, make chicken for the win. Speechless. <laughs> I'm not in any pain, I'm just like... Yeah, it's, it's the, the what you call it that she was on. But, um... So, yeah, we're, uh... Get her something to eat. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna shoot to the house. Well, no, I gotta go get the kids. We're gonna get the kids and then... We're gonna go home and... Figure out a plan of action after that. So, she'll probably tap back in with y'all later. Thank y'all for the True 400 tour. Be seeing y'all. Ooh, it kind of hurts to laugh. All right, guys, welcome back to True's tour. Uh, so I got the kids. She's a little weak, a little tired. Yeah, she's just nauseous. So um, everybody's picked up, so we're gonna go home. 
feed them because that's all they care about is eating. And uh, yeah, that should be probably the end of this vlog, right? Yep, it's gonna be the end of this vlog. I probably <laughs> be laughing at it. You sound so defeated. I mean, the end of this vlog. I just feel nauseous. Like, I didn't feel this way when I woke up from my um, tummy tuck. I don't like this feeling. Like nauseous and heaviness, but. Uh, you ate about 4.30 that's when we got to McDonald's. Yeah, and I can't even eat it because I feel like me eating it is making me feel even more nauseous. They told her to get soup, but no, she wanted a chicken sandwich. My stomach was like, no, you need something heavy. My mind telling me no. You got the music playing, I'm not going to even be able to, um... Listen, Tupac will not mind. But yeah, y'all, so like I said, I just feel nauseous. The boys is here. We're heading home. And pain, I do feel, I do feel pain. Even though I took my... So the car wash. Even though I took my pain medicine, I still feel pain. Pain and pressure, that's what I feel. And I'm nauseous, so. Once I get home, I'ma try to eat some soup like she told me to, and then I'ma just chill. So, I'll speak to y'all later. Why are you so close? Cause I didn't zoom in, but it's not as close as you think. Yeah, put it up so I can see. Tilt it down a little bit. Yeah. Hey y'all, so I'm back. Um, I got my chicken noodle soup here that I'm eating and I got my vitamin water and I just feel, um, I don't feel weak. I just feel like sick, like my stomach feels sick. I don't know if it's from me not um, eating for so many hours, but I feel like nauseous. Like, Well, they probably pumped you with a lot of medicine too. I got to throw up, but I'll show y'all a little bit. It's like really tight right at the top. So I gotta like, um, I guess go down. I guess this is the swelling part. All right, that's enough of that, put them away. Wait, um, yeah, so I'm gonna be sleeping out here probably for, wait, what they said, 36 hours to do what? To wash? Yeah, take a shower. To take a shower, so 36 hours to take a shower. And I got like these little gauze underneath I could take those off when it's time to take a shower, but I can't take off the um, surgical tape. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So Did you show them your nails? I'm not showing y'all my nails. <laughs> they look horrible, but probably by day four, I'm gonna have Eric drop me off at the- This one? <laughs> Cause I can't drive at the nail salon so I can get my nails done. Cause it just, yeah, I need my nails done. I'll drop you off at Walmart. You can get you some medical gloves. <laughs> But I think the, the surgery was about, it wasn't long. I think they said it was an hour and 30 minutes. That's how long it took to do the surgery. So I was kind of out of it. But it's way different from my tummy tuck because I feel pain. Like I feel it all right here is tight and all right here is tight. Tight and pain. So I just wanted to update y'all. I'll probably update y'all again when something else is going on. But the boys is fed. Eric is drinking this bro, baby. <laughs> And they're about to get in the shower, and I'm gonna just be chilling here. So I'll speak to y'all later. Welcome back to the Troop 400 tour. <laughs> Look, for you women out there that go and get these surgeries and all this stuff, uh, I feel for y'all, man. I really do. I really do. That, that joint real. That joint real. So for uh, y'all going out there, I don't recommend surgery. I'll let her do what she want to do, though. But yeah, man, uh, this was a tough experience on both of us. What? And uh, I don't know what we're going to do, how we're going to top this one, but we'll see y'all. Say bye, family. Later. All right, hey there again, established squad. Back on the True 400 tour. Uh, so it's been a few hours since we've been home. Uh, the boys are asleep. Damn, I'm messing the whole camera up. Uh, the boys are asleep. Uh, we just here chilling, you know. She didn't ate a few times. She didn't demand it that she had food that she wasn't supposed to have. So I gave it to her, whatever, right? So she's gonna give y'all an update on how she's feeling right now. So right now, y'all can hear the raspiness in my voice. It's still a lot of pressure, like right at the top of my chest, but it's not a lot of pain. I feel, I'll rate the pain uh, 
out of 10 being the worst, I rated a seven. Um, I'm eating mac and cheese, some turkey, and I realized that when I swallow, it hurts to like eat my food. It hurts to swallow, so. Um, I'm about to take my medication because it's uh, nine o'clock, I think. It's nine nine fourteen. So I'm gonna take my medication because they said to take it at nine. I think it's this one for pain. But yeah, so I had something on my face. So yeah, that's the update for now. Um, I'm gonna probably be knocked out after I eat and take my medication because one of them yeah, make you drowsy. It said. And it's a take at night. So um, I'll probably check back with y'all in the morning. Yeah, the morning. So this is day one, me coming home from surgery. Um, and I'll check back with y'all tomorrow. So later. Um, here go my question. Would you recommend this? Would you recommend this surgery to your fellow established squad? I wouldn't say recommend. But if you have questions about it, I will tell you the truth. Like if you want to know, you know, the pain level, what you got to go through, I'll explain that. But I don't recommend surgery for anybody because it's a serious situation. So what about sympathy wise? Like how much sympathy do you feel like if a girl goes and get this surgery that her significant other should show her while she's recovering? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I don't understand that question. What you mean? I don't understand what you're trying to How say. How much sympathy should I say? Like you, you, you are supposed to be resting, but you're up. You're doing this. You're doing that. Doing this. I'm doing that. I just helped my son with his homework. That's all I did, and I sat back down. Nah, she yelling at me and demanding that I do other stuff for her. But anyway, yeah. So day one of surgery. I probably won't be here tomorrow. Uh, I don't know. I probably it depends on how she feeling in the morning. But I probably won't be here tomorrow. I got to go to work. Uh, I'm gonna take the boys to school. So she will uh see my beard growing. Psych. <laughs> hey, genetically, I cannot grow a beard. Genetically, okay? So we all see, don't try to roast me, because when I cut my hair again, I, I get all this off. So, but anyway, yeah, we'll uh we'll be seeing y'all. So we'll see y'all in the next video. Probably day two or day three on post-op recovery. So we'll holla at y'all. Holla at y'all. Holla at y'all. All right. True for Hunter Tour. Later. All right. We out. Hey, y'all. <clears throat> hey, y'all. So I just got up to go to the bathroom. My throat is still a little raspy from the, um, the tube they had down my throat. It's not bad like how it was when I got my tummy tuck and it had the tube down my throat. But it do hurt a little when I'm eating like it hurts to swallow my food but it's bearable I can deal with it but I just want to show y'all my um how it look it looks really crazy but it's the first day like it's gonna look like this they said it's normal oh hell no but it hurts like all right here like I can't lift my arms up but this is how it looks day one now we'll see how it looks um like three months from now or whatever the case may be but I'm surprised they didn't bandage me up. I just have one of these um, gauze underneath and then I have the surgical tape underneath. This is how it look. And it's the same on this side. So, yeah, that's just an update so y'all can see I'm gonna take off this sweater. I'm gonna take off these sweats. I'm gonna keep on my compression socks and these um these little slippies. I got my compression socks. I actually got my compression socks under this. I'm just gonna keep them on. And I just want to get up and walk a little because they say they don't want me to catch any get any blood clots or anything like that. So I just been walking back and forth, especially when I have to go to the bathroom. That's a good time for me to walk. So that's the update for now. It is uh, it's later on today. So, this is day one. I'm going to try to get... Uh, oh, I got pajamas. I didn't. I think I showed you already. I'm going to wipe myself down really good with this um, antibacterial soap. Y'all, so... I'm about to put on these pajamas because... 
it's easy to get in. I could just unloosen this, unloosen these buttons and put them, put it on. So that's what I'm gonna be wearing after I clean myself up, cause it's been a long day. I can't believe they had me scheduled 12:45 p.m. for my surgery. Mind you, I had to stop eating at 12 um, the night before, but I go to sleep around nine. So the last time I ate was nine and I had to wait all the way till 3.30 to eat. Crazy. But I'm glad it's over with. I can't say I'm satisfied with my results because y'all see how it looked, but I'm gonna give myself time. Like everything takes time. You just gotta trust the process, so. Um, and it is a lot of pressure when I talk to, like I feel a lot of pressure up in this area, but I'm mobile. I'm able to walk around, I'm not hunched over. Um, I just can't really lift. Like when I go to like grab something or try to open something like this arm movement, it's kind of, it, it aches. It's like an achy feeling. So, um, let's see. I'm probably not going to be driving <laughs> because just me moving my arms like this kind of feel achy but um i will keep y'all updated if y'all have any questions be sure to ask i'll answer them down below um i just need to rest i'm gonna do like 10 steps back and forth and then i'm gonna go wash myself up with a, a washcloth put on those pajamas and then i'm gonna be laying in a recliner over there and i'll speak to y'all or i'll update y'all a little later probably tomorrow like i said i'll update y'all tomorrow so, lady y'all. Good morning, y'all. It's the next day. Trying to get the boys ready and Kyrie's having a fit. What's wrong with you? I want to wear a red sweater. He wants to wear a red sweater. I'm trying to get him to wear his Nike shirt with Nike pants and his Nike sweater. Can I see it? Can I see it? Because your work, it's kind of like... No. But he don't want to. Hi. So, my little girl. Mm. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, my little brother is kind of creepy today. He really wants to wear his red sweater. And, um, but mommy told him to put on this thing. Mm. Well, Trey. He doesn't want to wear it. All you have to do is put on your black sneakers and brush your teeth and wash your face. Yeah, all I have to do is. How much sneakers? Not those. Brush my. Okay, yeah. Brush my teeth, brush my face. Then this little boy has to get his attitude off. So yeah, this is my morning. My voice is still raspy. I need to make me some tea, and I need to take this bandaid off. And I still got on my wristband. Ew, ew, ew. I heard your mean jump on the door. He went. So did and you let him in? Turned him to the door, and then I let him in. And then that alarm went green. Oh, I'll speak like, to y'all later. Though. About to make them sunny eat and make me some tea. You guys are rude to me. Not my room. Hey y'all. So it's post op day two, and this is how I'm looking. It's still very square at the top and it really hurts like really bad like I can feel the pain I've been taking my medications and stuff for it but it is so tight and heavy at the top hopefully it, it goes down because um, yeah I could feel the pressure and it does feel like somebody is just like pressing on my chest but um like I said this is post op day two I just have to make sure I take deep breaths and I just got the shower. I make sure I oil myself because I don't want to get like stretch marks from like them stretching out the top of my chest. But this is how it looks so far. So I'll keep you guys updated. But my camera is about to die right now, so later y'all. What's it gonna take?